Well, there we are, concluded another Christmas Eve service uh, in this year, 2020. And what a year it has been. Uh, We began the service thinking about Jesus, the light of the world. It reminds me a little of a trip I made that I shared with some in the congregation to a system of caves in Yorkshire, where they opened these caves up uh, after thousands of years of being concealed and in the dark. And of course, in order that the public could see around the cave system, they fitted lights. Now, there had never been any life in that cave system that they were aware of. But when they first fitted the gas lamps and then eventually electric lamps, all around where the lamps had been, there was life coming into being. Mosses uh, and lichen was appearing. For the first time ever, life had begun to appear because the light had been there to, to bring it into being. And so it is with Jesus Christ. He is the light that if we embrace him, we find in our hearts a new life begun, the life of the Father and the life of the Spirit born in us by the work of the Son. And so I want to commend the Lord Jesus to you. Find a quiet place this Christmas where you can just bow before him and ask him, light of the world, to become a light and life in my own heart. Now, before we do conclude our time together, um, my responsibility really is to pronounce a Christmas benediction, and I have one before me, so I'll share it with you. May we all be filled with the wonder of Mary, the obedience of Joseph, the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the determination of the wise men, and the peace of the Christ child. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, will you bless us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.